<sighs> okay, just went for a run. Wanted to give you some points of advice. Romance with your wife. It's very simple. First and foremost, conversation. It's all about conversation. Think about when you were dating, okay? You talked for three hours a day. You were on the phone. You guys were talking. You guys were just jimmy jamming it up. Like, oh, it's so good to talk to you. These are my goals. These are my intentions. This is what's on my mind. That's all you got to do. Listen to what she's saying. Respond to the words that are coming out of her mouth. <laughs> and then add something that's going on in your life. She is going to respond positively. Okay? All you have to do is active listening mixed with some minor sharing when it's your turn to talk. And boom, you've made a positive rapport with your wife. It's not hard. It just takes effort. It takes so much effort. Okay. I'm giving you that. It does take a lot of effort because you spend 10 hours at work. That includes commute. Okay. And then you come home and then there's some kid stuff and then you got to wash dishes and then like whatever the thing is, eventually you get to the conversation and that's where you score your, your golden brownie points of romance in the conversation. Are you actively listening? You're paying attention. You're actually participating in the conversation. You're actually uh, giving back feedback whenever there's a question asked or a point made. That's very, very important. And the romance score will go through the charts. Okay, amazing. Second, uh, passive thing you can do every week, buy flowers. It sounds cliche, it sounds sexist, it sounds ridiculous, whatever. Buy the flowers, okay? You can get the wrong kind of flowers. <laughs> I hate daisies, you might, your wife or girlfriend might say. Get her daisies. Like, get some flowers. You tried. That's important. It, it, it may not seem like much. It may seem ridiculous. It may be a waste of $8, Get them anyway. It doesn't matter. Does she have a favorite food? So so in the sense of like, we're sitting around and chatting. She likes to have tea with chocolate. You should buy the chocolate. Get some extra stash of chocolate in the tea and chocolate regard. Um, if, if that's not her thing, she's not into chocolate, think about cooking a meal. Okay? What is that thing? The, the one meal that you're like, mmm. I can make a really good lasagna. Do that. Make the lasagna. Even if it's bad. It doesn't matter if it's bad. Excuse me. It. What matters is that you put in the effort. What matters is that you tried. Okay? And odds are, if you only have one meal that you cook, it's probably pretty good. <laughs> because you have one recipe. You sad, sad man. Okay? Um, if you're married, like myself, if you have kids, like myself, think about taking on the responsibility of the kids and any kind of family activity so that she can go wash her hair. It sounds so simple, but when's the last time you went and washed your hair? It's an event, okay? It doesn't matter. Race, age, it doesn't not matter. Your girl hasn't washed her hair in at least 24 hours and she loves doing that. Make it possible for her to go have a nice bath, a nice shower where she can spend the hour washing her hair, getting all done up all nice, feel all wonderful afterwards. Do that. Take on the kids. Take on whatever responsibilities are necessary. You have to wash 300,000 dishes Wash the dishes. Let your wife go off and just, just do her thing for one to two hours. She's just doing her thing. Especially if you have kids. If you have the opportunity to jump in, take on the kids for one to four hours. You just take them on. It's just you versus the children. And you do that and you let her go off and do whatever it is she wants to do. She leaves the house. She goes in another room. She 
does whatever is on her mind, that will score you romance points, okay? I'm here for you. I'm a husband. I'm a father. I, I understand the struggle. I understand going to work and job. The, the, the job is lacking any kind of fulfillment. And then you come home. You got to be on for the kids. You got to be on for any chores that are going on. You got, oh my goodness. I get it. I get it. But you want to score these little points, okay? And that's something you, you're you not understanding because you're a guy. And that's fine. That's a beautiful thing. But what you don't understand is that the, the point structure is different for men and women, okay? Um, if you buy a super expensive vacation, that's one point, all right? It's not about life. If, if you buy a hotel room for the weekend versus a vacation that's across the country, that's one point in the whole romance counter. Never forget that. Each action is one point. So the flowers, the chocolate, the taking care of the kids, the chores, the letting her wash her hair, the conversation in which you're paying attention. You're paying attention. You're responding to what she's saying. That's all one point. <laughs> and you might see it differently. You might see like, well, I bought us a vacation in another country. We flew a very long way. It was very expensive. And then I bought her a car. That's two points. <laughs> vacation and car. <laughs> okay. It wasn't like 50 points for the vacation, which was in another country. And it was so expensive and, and super full of very extravagant uh, lifestyle type choices. <laughs> doesn't matter. It's one point. The car. Oh my gosh, you bought her a car. It doesn't matter if it's a Toyota Camry or a Lexus or a Ferrari. It's one point because it's a car. <laughs> okay. You need to understand this. You need to understand that your scoring system and your wife's scoring system are just different. They're just different. There's nothing wrong with that in either case. But if you don't understand that, you'll get frustrated because you're putting in so much effort into this one thing. I wash dishes for 42 hours. I don't know why you have that many dishes, but you know, good on you. you know, that's, that's a lot of dishes, but you washed them, you hung in there. One point. <laughs> okay. Take a deep breath. Keep going. <laughs> don't get frustrated. And realize that you're just participating in that family life. Okay? Take a deep breath. Remember that you want this relationship. It's important to you. She brings a lot of value to your life. When you bring romance to your wife's life, you unlock an unlimited fountain of inspiration and love and encouragement. Every point that you give her on that romance scale is going to come back to you a thousand percent. I guarantee you, you make her feel like a good woman, she'll make you feel like a good man because you take care of her, because you show her a good time, because you give her a good story in that romance journey. So I know this is all over the place. I know all kinds of points were touched. Um, don't hesitate to speak out about your needs, okay? Because that's also another point. <laughs> that's another point of romance when you speak about the struggles you're having with the the problems in your life and how you're trying to solve them she's going to try and help you solve them she's going to try to to alleviate your state of being she's going to try to lift you up out of the negativity into a, a positive environment into an environment in which you're building and you're growing because you're talking about what's bothering you and what you're trying to do to fix it. And she's going to turn around and be like, he helped me get my hair done. He helped me with the kids. He got me flowers. I am here to support him in all the struggles he's going through. Okay. So you're, you're not, you're not pouring resources into a situation that where you're not going to get anything back. Your ROI, your return on investment is going to be huge by taking care of your significant other.
Okay. In this case, it's a wife. Take it however, whatever situation you're going through. Pour that resource, that, that energy into this person. Try to make their life better. They will make your life better. Okay. <laughs> now, I understand this, this advice may be very set towards married men or men in a very dedicated relationship with their significant other. Sure, sure. Um, does it apply to everyone in every situation? No, obviously not. So take that advice and understand how it applies to your situation. How can you make your partner's life better? Just a little bit of effort, just like a, a listening ear. With just, just actively listening goes so far. If your partner is lacking that personal time, maybe it's not a bath. Maybe it's not a shower. You know, wash your hair. I get it. It's not that thing. Give them a chance to get away from whatever stress is going on in their life. And by giving, they'll come back and they will return that energy to you. It's, it's very simple. It's, you've improved my life. I want to improve your life. I'm, I'm here for you as well. And you may not see it that first day. You may not see it in the first week. You may not see it immediately. But you keep going. You keep buying the flowers. You keep cooking dinner. You keep washing the dishes and watching the kids. And Oh my God, any second I'm going to just collapse with all this energy I'm putting into it. Your partner will turn around and see all the effort that you're putting in. They will see that you are being an active member in this relationship. And they will try to reciprocate that. So take a deep breath, add some romance to your life. It's also amazing if you take just 30 seconds and you grab your partner and you dance with them in the living room. You may not know any dance steps, none at all. You don't you're the worst dancer in the world, but you, you, you push them back and you pull them forward and you spin them around once and you, you come in and you kiss their cheek and you do one of these. It's amazing the amount of romance that adds to your life. Just a little bit of dancing while you go through your day. At the end of the day, the kids are asleep, the dishes are done, you're both exhausted Take a deep breath, put that effort in. I promise it'll pay you back. I promise it'll work out. But you've got to take that first step. You've got to move forward and basically just put the, uh, it's like a punch card. <laughs> you know, you just punch out the little, the little uh, dots in the card to just make it good. It'll work out. Hmm. Have a great life. Tell your partner you love them and you have a great day. Thank you for listening.